Hey, yo, Guard, I see one of them ops right there. Slide, let's do a drill. Ah, oh, man, I I can't. I I am busy. Man, what you mean you busy? This the guy right here. He leaving the stove. Le Le Come here. Shut the fuck up. Look, guys, I'm doing something important. Hey, what could be more important than drilling? You been this on fire? Bro, it's complicated. Put me on FaceTime. Bruh. You know I got an Android. Man, what I just say? Nautic, please. Don't betray your brother like this. I said, put me on the motherfucking FaceTime, nigga. Hold up, gang. Where you at? Is that a theater set? Are you in? Nah. nah. It's not gay, okay? Now remember, Guad. This is a video for a fresh start. Lay low for now. Everyone thinks you're just a new YouTuber who happens to look and sound like the late Quad tunes. No controversies <sighs> this time. Action. Theater kid. A term synonymous with zest fest, loser, virgin, or all of the above. Now don't get me wrong, I personally got some theater friends who chill, but in a general cultural perspective, they musty as hell, got the weirdest, most unfunny humor, I'm talking that Adrian, explain our friend group shit, and get zero play. Unless it's with the same gender. Man, I used to come across theater committee and think, I ain't never in my life being no theater kid. So I joined theater my junior year and dog, I chill. No, don't, don't leave the video. I can't, I can't explain, man, please. I needed extra clubs for college, you feel me? A young and studious and all that. And theater seemed like a walk in the park. I promise I'm still cool. It's still big 500 gang. You notice, my G. Anyway, I said bet. I might not get play, but it's gonna be easy as hell. Now here's where it gets interesting. See, theater isn't inherently gay. Stay with me now. Theater gets you play. Yeah, let me explain. So this story begins in a spring trip I took junior year of high school. It was a college-centered trip for different Chicago area students to explore colleges around the Philly area. You know, where some summer nights can even turn cold in the streets of Philly. And so I went on this trip with one of my boys at the time. We gonna call bro Mans. L Mans, by the way, because the second I start spitting game with some shorties I ain't seen before on the trip on some, what's good, my, you fine as hell, where you with from? L Mans decided to expose my newfound hobby. Oh, you straightforward, huh? Only wanna know what I be wanting. Yeah? Yeah. What you do anyway? Why don't you come by my area and I'll show you. Oh, quad? Theater. Bro, this theater. Me, on the other hand, <laughs> I do, I do basketball and all that shit. Bro brought my aura points to negative numbers on some Yu-Gi-Oh shit, the whole I could just feel my nonchalant dreadhead energy being sucked out as people began to laugh and laugh. And I didn't blame them, dog. Theater kids ain't got a good rep. You know this. However, there was this one girl, we gonna name her Isis, who found the theater thing cute in a way. And yeah, I was feeling Isis too. So we exchanged numbers and a little kiss at the end of the trip and we went our separate ways. Mind you, these are students from other towns in the Chicago area, so me and Mans thought we'd never see these people again. Now fast forward to senior year, and I'm about as meow deprived as I've ever been. The whole roster had dropped me out to my second show in theater, and I was damn near about to crash out. Man, I ain't gonna lie, this is like a meow had me down to the church talking about some. I come before you, humbled and humiliated, to ask you for one thing. I need some play. And lo and behold, my prayers were answered. On the opening night of my senior winter play, I get a text. It was Isis. Isis? I thought, I haven't spoken to her since last year. She said, hey, how you been? I'm good. You? Good. Oh my God, are you still in theater? Now here, I'm a bit confused. Why does a girl who lives 30 minutes away care about a guy she met on a trip a year ago? A theater kid, nonetheless. All right, go out. Let's see where this is going. Gotta stay nonchalant. Ha yeah. Why? Are you trying to come see a show? I waited for five long minutes. Nothing. Damn, I should have just said I got into game banging instead. Stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I want to come see you. Merge. I'm about to get some meow. Who got the goodie? I got the goodie. Bet. I got you with a ticket. Just slide tonight. It's opening night for our winter play. See you then, boo. See you then, boo! The glazing, the glazing! She doing tricks on it on photo gray! <laughs> now let me give you a little rundown of my role in this play. I, shit you not, was cast as a landscaper 
and a janitor. And maybe, maybe it could have been a coincidence, you know, me being dark skin and all. But you want to know what's even more wild? My understudy was a chubby Mexican freshman. Yeah, two of the only dark ones and cast as stereotypes. And as much as I want to call this director out, in hindsight, shit, I want to cast our brown asses too. But back in the moment, this show was not the best look for me. Either way, we did the show, it was fun, and I met with Isis soon after. And surprisingly, she loved the show. She got to asking about plot details and everything. Now after that, since my broke ass ain't have a car, I don't ask Isis, I went, you said I could get a ride home? And she said, yeah. So we drive around and she's talking to me about the play, you know, letting me know she actually liked it. Then we got some food. She bought me nuggets, fries, a Diet Coke, and we headed to the Guad Crib. Yeah, first and last time I was treated like a princess. Take notes, ladies. Guys need that kind of treatment too. We get to the crib and I let her in. I put on that classic Too Many Nights by Metro Boomin, you know, to set the scene, of course. And then we lock eyes. And I ain't gonna lie. I got nervous and all the ore was gone. I was just a theater kid by then. But Isis couldn't be more interested. So, you, you like the play? Yeah. 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 And we get to doing our thing. The magic was brought into fruition all thanks to a theater play. And you best believe I hit up the roster soon after individually at night with a... a miss us. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> it's I shit. <laughs> All because of a play. I'm telling you, theater ain't bad if you give it a try. Moral of the story. What is not young Don? Believing other interests are cooler or more normal than yours is a societal lie that undermines your own happiness. And so long as you continue to idolize other interests above your own, you'll always feel like a loser in your own mind. And with that, I leave you with that new Almighty Cash song. Featuring Young. Yeah, now they got our mobs, shit.